Hey folks, I'd like to thank Myth System Milwaukee for inviting Armored Skeptic Sean Head and myself to MythCon, and also thank them for allowing me to host my debate on my channel. Because of the harassment campaigns by the SJWs leading up to the conference, MythSys had gone over budget because they were forced to hire security for what should have been a pretty placid event. But instead of capitulating to the harassment mob, the MythSys chaps stuck to their guns so we could speak, and I'm really grateful to them for it. We got to speak and I think it was very productive. They've been left $12,000 out of pocket because of this, which is why they were charging $3 to watch the conference online. But the Mythicist chaps are a bit old world when it comes to the internet, so I suggested they set up a GoFundMe page and put the conference up online for free. So, if you enjoy the debate I had with Thomas Smith and appreciate Mythicist's resolve in ensuring that this debate could happen, please consider following the link in the description and sending them a couple of bucks. I've kicked in $100 myself because while we were organising the conference, I could see the amount of strain that the organisers were under from the start, but they made it happen and if you want to support that and show your appreciation, it would really help them. I also think it's important for us to put our money where our mouths are when it comes to this sort of thing, not only to show our appreciation but incentivize other conferences to allow debate against social justice activists. It's not compulsory of course, but please consider helping them out if you found any value in the debate. For anyone wondering, I was not paid for the event and I received no money from this campaign, it's all for the expenses incurred to host us shitlords at MythCon. And with that out of the way, enjoy. <laughs> Sir. And now for the interviewee, Carl Sargon of Akkad Benjamin is an incredibly popular independent YouTube entertainer. A skeptic of ideologies, both theological and political, his channel is dedicated to rational arguments and social commentary. This fine fellow hails from England and is a renowned amateur boulderer, which is like rock climber but kind of smaller. Um, <laughs> Welcome, Sargon of Akkad. All right. Okay. Uh, hi, guys. Um, yes, Carl. Uh, I wanted to start with a lot of people didn't want you to be here today. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I wanted to ask you what you think about that and why you think people didn't want you to be here today. I think that you are, you know these people, right? You, these are people you would probably call friends, aren't they? These are people who are putting a huge amount of pressure on you personally to censor someone. They've been pressuring Mythicist to do this from the start. Why are you siding with censors? How do you justify this? I mean, you don't call yourself a liberal and side with censors, so what do you call yourself? I'm genuinely curious, because this to me is a complete default. The idea that I have the right to prevent someone else from speaking and all of these people from hearing what they have to say is nonsense. I don't have that right. Why do these people feel entitled to do it? So does everybody get to come up here or just... Whoever the organizers want okay. to invite. Well, the organizers, well, we found out someone, yesterday that there is a line for the organizers. Do you agree with their decision to no platform? It's completely their decision who they platform and who okay. they don't. And when they've decided to platform me, Shu, and Skeptic, that's their choice. The idea that like a harassment campaign should be undertaken against them to the point where, what was it, Sean's wife burst into tears because of the group of people you were with, how they were treating her. Can you answer the question though of why you think they want to deplatform you? Like, well, what is it about you're, you? You're the one who would know. Well, I do know, but I want to know if you know. So you well, have no idea. It's a, it's a mystery to you. Yeah, well, listen, well, okay, here, I'll, I can no, tell it, you. No, no, do you not think that's strange? I mean, do you not find yourself in a position where, like, why am I siding with the censors? I mean, How I, think, I, give I think, the, I think the they're things... afraid. I think they're afraid of what I'm going to say about them and about their ideology. And okay, I think so that that's their ideology, you think it's ideology. Yeah, absolutely. I think the ideology only okay. survives when it goes unchallenged. So in my opinion, you have no understanding of why people want to censor you. Because it's not about ideology. It's not about ideas. I could argue your ideas all day. We could talk about identity politics. It's not that hard. Mm -hmm. I think if we want to clue into why people sure, don't want ahead. you here, let's read your quotes. Okay. So you told uh, female MP Jess mm -hmm. Phillips. Yep. Everyone should know this by now. I just want yeah. to make absolutely yeah, sure. I want you to know. It's, all, it's in the newspapers, so someone, you probably do know. Someone who was herself 
a victim of sexual assault. Mm. All because she wanted to start a campaign to rid online bullying, to, to, oh, to yeah, fight Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no. When you say, oh, it's a this campaign was against online that. bullying, that sounds really neutral. But what it is, is unjustifiable control okay, over social let me, media. Let me finish the quote, and then you can, yeah, I will, yeah. by all means, give yeah. you a chance to have your say. So this is someone who's a, a, a woman, a sexual assault survivor, someone uh, we all know, like she was public about that, it's in the news, and it's in response to a campaign to try to fight online harassment, and you saw fit to, to tweet at her, to say yep. to her, I wouldn't even rape you. Yep. And do you understand, do you understand why your moral outrage about that is something I just don't care about? Because you're awful. Yeah, I do. Now that's it. You're awful. Exactly. That is an unacceptable exactly. thing opinion. to say to somebody. To tell a rape victim, a sexual assault victim, I wouldn't even rape you is Why? disgusting. Why? That's Why? behavior that should be beyond Why? the pale. Why? And everybody cheering, everybody who is a part of inviting it's not you, an insult. It's you not have a signaled threat. to the women in the movement, you do not give a shit about using rape as a threat to bully somebody. Not that's not what you have signaled. It's not a threat. It's, it's, the, it's the antithesis of a threat. That's the point. And, and the, the, that, the whole point of it was to demonstrate that I would say, I won't do something, and you will say, that's a threat. Oh, it's just a coincidence that you said rape. No, it's a deliberate... It's a coincidence no, it's a that you didn't say, I won't murder her, I won't... Uh, yeah, why I won't, you name I all won't the do any of these Go things. through all the crimes. Uh, ar Listen, arson, I won't... Do, it's yeah. a coincidence. No, it's entirely deliberate, but the thing is... Because you don't she's know. a victim no, of sexual you assault. You don't know anything about you the context. You know that you can use her previous trauma as a cudgel to it's bully It's nothing her. to do with her trauma, and you know oh, it, and okay. she knows it, right? She was parading around saying, look, I, I think I get all these rape threats, and therefore, I want to control the internet. And she's an MP, so it's not like she's powerless, right? And I said, right, look, uh, the point I was making is, regardless of what she says, she's going to do it anyway. So if she gets something that isn't a rape threat, they're just going to claim it is anyway, because that's the point. It's all an ideological mission, and I object to it. Yeah. This is the fundamental disconnect we have. Damn right. This is the reason why you have two extremely polarized groups of people. A group of people who are cheering, saying I wouldn't even rape you to a victim of sexual assault. You have those people, deplorables, and then you have people Ooh. who understand. Ooh. You have uh, people who guys, are guys, sensitive guys, guys. to the idea that maybe we shouldn't tell people I wouldn't even rape you. Maybe yeah. we shouldn't threaten people online in that way and That's bully them in that way. It's not a threat, but let, should we let the preacher carry on? Sorry, tell us what we should and shouldn't do. Let's go to your next quote. So no, another no, one no, is... No, 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 let's skip the quotes, right? Because I'm literally just going to answer every single one of these. From with, the video... I, I don't care about your opinion oh, on good. this, Thomas. From the video, uh, I don't it's care. called Feminism I is a Mental don't Illness. Don't care, maybe these Thomas. people care. I don't care. I'm Feminism not going to answer it. I'm being interviewed. Mental... I'm on, I'm here to discuss principle with you. I don't care about your moral I, outrage. I don't care about you wanting Skip to discuss it. principle, so let's oh, talk you don't about want to this. Talk, you so don't now we're at a principle. don't care off. Now we both you, equally don't you, care. You so let's get to my question. I'm not morally outraged. Your video, Feminism is a Mental Illness, yes. here's a quote. I know, no, it wasn't here's a, No, this is, a, a, I'm a feminist. Oh, I'm a feminist. So no, here's a quote that you said about me. Yes. You said, you fuck personally. you, feminists. Yep. This is fucking insane. Yep. This is actually the nail in the coffin to prove that feminism is a mental disease, <laughs> and anyone who is a feminist has this disease. Uh, do you want to know That's what... It. Anyone agree? <laughs> oh, so, dear Thomas. Do you guys want yep. us to talk or just cheer at bullshit? Well, so, you're the one who said you don't want to talk. I want to so, talk. Let me you I have, a, I have two more outrage. sentences till the I question. I don't care. I have two more sentences Skip to the question. It. So, the, um, if you want to know why the snowflake was so triggered in that video, it was because all because of a petition to make men's rights activists a terrorist group. This petition had 4,000 signatures. You want to make a this human rights advocacy nothing. group terrorists? Are you listening to yourself? It had 4,000 signatures. Because something on the internet had 4,000 signatures, you're using that to say every feminist has a fucking mental disease, disease in that word instead. Oh, that's not the reason. I but, Googled I mean, I just for fun, one. just the last sentence, just, to, just for you fun. You can waste everyone's Change time. Change.org has a petition to classify feminism as a terrorist group, 13,000 signatures. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, but, well, no, well, oh, that's no, fine. No, oh, that's fine. That's okay. a joke. No. Oh, it's a joke. That's a joke. Do okay. you not, can you not see that he's obviously just messing around? Oh, he's joking. Okay. Oh, that, okay. Now, okay. So now you're censorious, you're not interested in discussing principle, and you have no sense of humor. 
Carry on, Thomas. You're oh, no, I have plenty of sense yeah. of humor. That's not a joke. It's not it funny. It absolutely was a joke. Please carry on. <laughs> Good observation, gentlemen. <laughs> so your answer to being horrible to people online is that you just don't care. You don't? What? You don't care that you're horrible either, or your movement I'm is horrible. I'm horrible? You just, Give me a you part literally, of me. What did you just say to me when we first sat down? I you're said awful. you're awful. Yes, Do you because think that's of a nice what thing you said. To say? Because of what you said, I gave oh, well, you the reason. I'm going to say the same thing to you because of what you just said. Do you understand that this? It's just moral outrage. I don't care. So if there's you there's I'm no awful. difference between punching someone in self-defense and going and attacking someone in your mind. That's the same thing. What, you, who is being punched in self-defense? You say shitty things. I'm yeah. calling you out for saying and shitty things. Who am I saying now you're shitty? saying we're even. Absolutely. In fact, I think I'm morally superior to you because you guys started it. You understand when you oh, sit there and go, started you, you, when, you sit there, when you sit there and go, white men are the problem, oh. do you see that as, and this is why I want to talk about principle with you, because you are in favor of racial and gender discrimination. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Oh, we'll get to it. Yeah. So I think you've already covered this, but why do you think you should be platformed, like proactively? Because like, they asked. Why? Okay. That's why. So it's as long decision. as you are, are, as long as someone's interested, then... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you have another argument against that? <laughs> yeah. So then, can I ask you, your pro-freedom of speech exchange of ideas then? I know, I'm such a Nazi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but why aren't you, but, but at the same token, you're trying to ban what you've lab labeled social justice courses Oh, so at you'd be happy with Scientology in universities, would you? Creationist courses in universities, so, are they okay? Right, so yeah, we need to really get down to the principles of the thing, don't we? We need to start talking about what we're actually here to discuss. So it's, it's, it's censorious to suggest censorious? that somebody shouldn't put on stage someone who says, I wouldn't even rape you to a woman who's a victim. That's censorious. Yes. But for you, someone with no expertise in a field, mm -hmm. you're not a scientist. That's true. You don't know anything about it. For you, well, you to know, ban yeah. books, ban courses, Ooh, to ban Thomas, courses I think, I think that from a school, a that's not censorious? I think if you read the text exactly, you'll say, I, sus I request that they be suspended and investigated by uh, the universities themselves. Oh, okay. So, but you, but think you, you, you should be able to drive suspension of education well, that's based it. on is your it education ideology. Or is it indoctrination, Thomas? So freedom of ideas until it's something you don't agree with, then I you should get... I didn't even say ban it. I said oh, okay. investigate them. Have them, I don't know, You said reviews. suspend... Have Why on earth would you have the power to suspend what I people don't. are learning I'm, That's what a university. petition is, Thomas. I'm Why would you think that's them, your place? Thomas. Why would you what, think that's your place? to ask someone to do? Because I have a concern about it. Because it's discriminating so against how white is that men different and I happen to be a white man. How is that different from people asking Mythicist Milwaukee to not platform you? They have a concern the about what's happening. The difference is I didn't make one of their wives cry, Thomas. Oh. Oh, what? You don't care about a woman now? You don't care about a woman being harassed by a bunch of SJWs because it's your team! This is why you're horrible. This is why everyone hates you. And this is why I'm here. You made me necessary. Yeah. <laughs> so in your mind, um, what is the definition of feminism? Well, it depends what kind of feminism you're talking about, doesn't it? Okay, what's the definition of, what's, what's a, a, when you say all feminists are fucking insane, have a mental illness, what's your, what's your definition <laughs> that you're using? To say all feminists, by the way, not these feminists over here, well, not whoever let, signed let, this let's petition. Let's be fair, right? Intersectionality has completely overtaken feminism. And it's done this by declaring, in its typically racist way, that feminists who oppose this are now white feminists, and they're just like the white men and can safely be ignored. What do you think of that, Thomas? I didn't hear a definition of, can you define, what do you mean when you're, you're talking about feminism and then you're talking about intersectionality? Well, so for the it, audience it, to follow. Intersectionality has taken over feminism. Okay, what is feminism? And then what is intersectionality? What is, in, this conference is an embarrassment, by the way. This is an embarrassment. You should be fucking embarrassed. Why is everyone having this such is a good the time? crowd. This is the crowd. This is the crowd. This is what you want the movement Excuse to me. be. The, the, the you want people talking. to be yelling, this is what you want the movement to be, organizers. Should be fucking embarrassed. Your movement is tiny and collapsed. Would you define feminism so we sure. can know what we're talking feminism about? Feminism used to be a woman's rights advocacy movement. Used to be. Okay. Now, it's an oppressive neo-Marxist system of structures that seek to have control over all society. Can you define intersectionality? What is I it? literally what is just did, that's what I'm telling you. 
It is a system of structures that want to have complete control over everything, and these are using a neo-Marxist lens. That's nowhere in the definition of intersectionality. That is not at all the definition. Uh, You're just you, making I, okay. that up. Yes, that is my definition of what these things are. Well, the definition of intersectionality is you so, just so asked for it. You can define something as Marxism and fascism, and then no, what? We're I, supposed no, to cheer you, you on can't because you define something it? as Marxism and fascism. Right? They're, ex they're mutually exclusive, but it is a Marxist movement that seeks to control people by their gender, by their race, by their sexuality. Name, it, name something, and you want to control it. But this is what it all comes down to, is the desire for control over people that's completely unjustified. There is no reason why I should be dismissed because I'm a white man. No, you should be dismissed because your ideas are horrible and you tell yeah, women... Yeah, well, why is it they go, yeah, but you're a fucking white male? Yes, and... Because it has to do with where your blind spots come from. <laughs> exactly, but you're not addressing my blind spots. You're just calling me what I am. I didn't like call you that. Out. No, you I didn't personally. call you that. Well, no, you personally. But do you, think that, do you think everyone in this room doesn't know what I'm talking about? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. So no, how, you... about you define, how about you define intersectionality? You have an that, audience that of people who so watch eight hours of YouTube of you every day where you call out the worst people you can find on yes. the other side and straw man them. No, so I want to know if you actually can man. define intersectionality. Like, I do you just know did. what it is? Yes, no, you I, didn't. I absolutely you gave did. What your alarmist picture, a straw man of it. Okay, is. so are you saying my definition is wrong? Yes, absolutely. How, How is it wrong? It's not even a definition. You so just said it's, it. it's Marxist Stop and it time. seeks to control everybody. That's not yeah. a definition. It's, it's a Marxist system of like a dichotomy of oppressions. The idea that white men are oppressing black men, or you know, men are oppressing women, straight people are oppressing gays, by the inherent existence of these people in society. That's not the definition, but we'll go that with that for now. That absolutely is. So make the counter argument. Okay, yeah. so the definition, if anyone actually was interested, if you, know, you argue all day, you yell mm -hmm. at feminists for a living, if you were interested in what the definition is, intersectionality just has to do with the different levels of identity we have and how they interact. So here's what how I want to How is that different know. to what I've just no, said? No, no, let me ask you this. You're for individuality, right? Yes. And yet you think, um, that, yet you think that this new movement, this new part of feminism, intersectionality, yes. is what's ruining it. The irony of that is intersectionality is literally the thing that makes it more individualistic. So that you should be rooting for it. That is absolutely absurd. No, it's not. I can't believe you just so said So instead it. of just being men versus women. It is entirely how about collectivist. I, do you want to let, let me tell you why that argument is true? No, it's not true. Okay, how about I make Sorry, the argument? go ahead. Do you, 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 argument? you can, but you just said I could be a Marxist fascist, so I don't think you understand this very well. I didn't say you could be a Marxist fascist. I said you. Sorry, go so ahead. when when you said you they, they will seek to control everybody by every dynamic they can, that Absolutely. wasn't fascism. So it's unfair of no, me. No, that's intersectionality. It's totalitarian. As well. Okay. Yeah. All that nonsense aside, <laughs> intersectionality makes us more individual because instead of looking what? at it does. Instead, <laughs> how about do you want me to explain it or yes, are you not I do. interested? I'm interested? genuinely okay. curious. So, so instead of being men versus women. Instead of being black versus white, which you wouldn't agree with. You don't like that. You don't okay, like, yeah, go on. You don't like, let's identify if you're, let's just pick one part of you uh, okay. and let's just identify you as that. Okay. You agree, right? Yeah, you don't no, like no, that. Uh, but Karen. Intersectionality allows us to say men have different experiences than women. Black people have different experiences than white people. I can do that without insecurity. Black women have different experiences than white women. Maybe. Latino women have different experiences than black women. Poor okay. white women okay. have different experiences than black women. So? That's intersectionality. I just gave yeah, you what why, intersectionality why, why is that allows you to else? break down identities in a more dynamic way you, rather than the straw man you argue against, which is, oh, men, women, and you, they just want to isolate you to identity. Are you listening to yourself? You are collectivizing all of these people. No, I'm you're doing saying the it's individualism? No, I'm doing it's the opposite. It's not. It's the antithesis of individualism. It's literally the opposite of what you just said. It's no, allowing no, people's it's identity it's, to no, be it's multifaceted. Not. Faceted. It's allowing socioeconomic status yeah. to be part of it. It's allowing race to be part of it. It's allowing Again, gender you're, you're to be part of it. Again, you're categorizing into classes, Thomas. Yeah. That's collectivism. That's not individualism. But what I'm saying, if these deplorables would care to listen, is Stop preaching to the audience. Intersectionality is what gets us that more intricate level of identity. Of control, so, yes. But individualism is people should be free. Do you not understand how all of this is completely antithetical to the concept of liberty? Do you because think there's any discrimination against women in our society? Look, when it comes down to it, let's get down to the principles. You are not for freedom. 
Do you think there's any discrimination look, against look, women? Let's in our get society? down to the principle. You are for equality of outcome rather than liberty. Yeah. That is the yeah. fundamental issue of our time. And you should probably know that. Do you think um, there's uh, discrimination against women in our society? I'm absolutely certain that there will be someone somewhere who is being discriminated against. Mm. Do you think there's discrimination against men in our society? Not really. Not Unbelievable. Really. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Whoa. How did James... Listen to all these identity politics people all of a what? sudden. Weird. No, it's an observation of what's really happening, Tom. Yeah. Amazing. So you think, do you think there's more discrimination against men than women in our society? It doesn't really matter to me, to be honest. No, answer the question. No, it, it does I matter. I don't know, and I don't care. You don't care? I don't know. So if, care. If, if women are discriminated against this much men, this much, I, you don't I, care? I don't it care because I'm not, I'm not a social engineer. I don't think, even, let, let's say, right, and this is, this is the fundamental thing that you just don't understand, right? A difference in numbers, in outcomes, is an indication of freedom. Oh, it is. Yes. So, so when, when you looked at the voter totals 120 years ago, and oh, it was 100% okay, yeah, 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 women, 100% yeah, yeah. so men. 120 years ago, yeah, okay, go. No, 100% men, 0% women. Just choices. No, because we don't live then. We okay. have made, do you think Let's society is the same now that Let's it is for, Well, I think we've been on a continuum, yes. and it's gotten better. Uh, yeah. You think and we're at the top. And then intersectionality came along, and it's getting worse. <laughs> so there's more discrimination of women now. No, there's more discrimination against men now. So there's more than men than women. So men are the well, victims. It doesn't matter. The point. No, is it does matter. It very much does matter. To, to you, but not if to me. If we're going to talk care. about how to make society better, we're not. You we're would talking about how to know. make society free. Yeah. yeah. This is society exactly. was incredibly free hundreds of years ago. We had all the liberty there could be, with no intervention okay, well, of the civil let's go rights back to act. That. What, what's your argument against the civil? What's your argument for against, the civil rights act? What, what's my argument for the you civil rights act? I, imagine, imagine having to answer that question in 2017, what, ladies what, and gentlemen. Yeah, and, I know. And I thinks, never thought I would be in this position. Yeah, I can't Your argument is you saying. want people to be maximally free. The yes. argument against the Civil Rights Act is businesses ought to be able to discriminate against black people. Yeah, their business choice. It's their, not free their choice. if they're being oppressed by society around them. What did you say? An individual is not free if they're being oppressed by society around oh, them. Oh, okay, we agree How on is that. it that I have we to agree explain on that. that to you? We agree on okay, that. Okay, so great. Now... Why should, you know, just, just pick an example. Why should men be dismissed just for being men? Be dismissed? I don't know. Yeah, the, you know, like, what, a Give me an example. Action. Why should men be discriminated against on the basis of the gender? Uh, they shouldn't. Well, you're against affirmative action, then. Good job. I'm what? You're against affirmative action. Good job. Oh, you think affirmative action is discrimination against certain against How could men? it not be? How could it not be? Do you know that right now, uh, in college admissions, you have a better chance of getting in if you're a man than a woman? Yeah, I suppose that's why the, the price of all this affirmative action that's made women the majority of universities these days. No, it's more women are applying. More women are testing better. Oh, right. Women's so math scores. All affirmative action wasn't actually necessary then. Uh, for women, it wasn't as much. It's for people of color. Latinos are, de are terribly underrepresented in college. Uh, again, do you want, okay, do you want okay. to make no effort to You say try underrepresented. To... What's yeah. the number? I think it's... No, 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 no. The desired number that you want to see. Oh, closer to the percentage that is in society. But, okay, that makes you a social engineer. You're the one who's saying, look, I don't care if you're free, I care that you act like I want you to act. What? Do you, okay, let me ask you this. You, you seem to want to live when in places When the black unemployment public. rate is double the white unemployment rate, do you see no problem there? It's just I choices. I absolutely see problems with that. But your solutions are terrible. What, you don't know my solutions. How do you know my any, solutions? Any solution that would be arrived at through Marxist theory is a bad solution. I'm not a Marxist. I don't know what yes, you you're are. Yes, you are, and you don't about. know it. <laughs> so this is the style of argument you guys are cheering. You're cheering someone telling me my views. That's incorrect. Yeah, by but the way. you don't understand. And, you, your and own you're views. laughing at a straw man that he's saying I am. You don't. That's understand the level your of intellectual views, engagement Thomas. you guys support. You don't understand your own views. It's scary. You don't know my views. You just expressed them. I d no, I didn't. You, with you, the solution you literally of just said, I want the number of Latinos to represent exactly the percentage I of the population. I didn't say how. I said that would be a good outcome if it was yeah, but you've already close. advocated for intersectionality. Is it unfair for me to infer that you're going to use that to get to there? How? But, we, of course, well, using, using the percentages what, to get somewhere. What do, you, what do you think you're arguing in defense of? I'm arguing in defense of uh, equality. I want, I want, <laughs> exactly. You're, you're a exactly. status quo warrior. You no. like the status no, quo. The status quo, the status quo is great for white favor. men. The status quo is fantastic oh, for shit, white it's men. Brilliant for white so men. So you're a status quo so warrior. So that's why when James Moore writes one that, memo that is completely inoffensive, 
all of Google has to be like, oh God, get it on lockdown, get him out of the building, fire that man. The idea that you think this is a status quo that's favorable to men is insane to me, Thomas. Well, why are 95% of CEOs men? Because they wanted to Did be. Did anyone have a calculator? How many presidents have, that's have the, been that's men? The I think it, so the numerator would be zero it, it's women It's not 95% divided. either, Thomas. Do you have that's a calculator? The, what look, is that's that? That's an incorrect statistic, right? 95% of it's, CEOs. No, no, it's not. It's not 95%. But even then, how did 5% of CEOs become women? Uh, how women become CEOs, sorry. How did, how did the 5% arrive there? And they had to work harder than the men to get there. How do you know? You don't know any of these people. You don't know how hard they worked. You're just making all of these blanket assumptions about a group of people you don't know because you're a fucking collectivist. So Thomas. when you look at you the you don't know when you these look at people. the line of history and you see that women were not allowed oh, in God, the workforce. We have to go back how many hundreds of years to not, get to a point where your argument long. is when valid? You, when you see that women were not allowed to do these positions not that long ago, they were not allowed to vote a hundred years ago, and oh, now Thomas. thank you. Oh, thank you for yes. helping. They're allowed now. That's and a great now. Point. You, so let's look at history. I just want to know. I want to know no, how you answer. That's the point. No, that's exactly the point. I don't want to look at the past. I want to look at the future. Carl, Your future I want, is oppressive. Here's the question I have for you. How will you know when, 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 out, when not outcome, how will you know when opportunity is equal? How will right. you know that? I don't think we can actually give everyone a complete equality of opportunity. Right? What we want is just to have any institutional barriers alleviated from people. And affirmative action is placing institutional barriers in front of certain groups of people by trying to specifically privilege other groups of people. You must be able to agree with that. That's not controversial in any way. That's literally the method of, by which affirmative action works. What it does is it's a factor of a factor of a factor. Yes, but the, what I've it's just described... Tried, if, if there's two equally qualified candidates, and you need a tiebreaker, pick the underrepresented person. Discriminate based on their race. That's your argument. Racial discrimination. That's what you're advocating for. Against freedom. <laughs> you you're that much of a snowflake that you think if you use socioeconomic, what about socioeconomic? Whoa, let, hang on, hang on, I thought, hang on, I thought, are you honestly going to ask me if I'm triggered? Is there something laughable about being triggered now, is there, Thomas? Go on. There is Go when on, you're, undermine your own When you're movement. triggered Do for it. white victims, it is Oh, it oh is it's because they're white. Yeah. Brilliant. White you, male, you're triggered oh, for wow. white male victims. Yeah, no, tell me what's wrong with white men. Go on. Nothing's wrong with them, but they they're have privilege in our society. Oh, do they? Yes. They have privilege. The you, privilege of being discriminated no against. Do you think you have no privilege? The privilege of being discriminated against. What a privilege. I'll give that up. Let's get rid of affirmative action. I'll get rid of my privilege. Man. You really think that that's the biggest issue? That's the I biggest discrimination? I don't give a damn what your opinion on the biggest white issue White men is. are the most discriminated That's what we're here to discuss. Are white men the most discriminated? I don't know about the most, I just know they are being. And I okay. know that a lot of other people have a problem with this too because racial discrimination is bad no matter who it's happening to. Yeah. <clears throat> it's not a defensible position. This, sure, the status quo sure, you're, discriminates. You are, you are literally in favor of that, though. Don't just say sure. Now, the status quo you discriminates. You just did it. The status quo discriminates. I'm in favor of making things more equal. Okay, but I'm not. I'm making things more free. And freedom naturally freedom will cause inequality. Freedom entails discrimination. Freedom allows no, well, white men to control everything. Uh, oh my God, you're a white supremacist. You are actually a white supremacist with a guilty conscience, Thomas. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Honestly, this is, this is like, you're, you're like, you're like Richard Spencer's twin brother. When 44 out of 45 presidents have been white men, when Congress is 90% white, oh, way overrepresented, you don't think that the, the status NBA. quo through history yeah. what about has NBA? allowed why, why white men? Why not the NBA? Why not the NBA? This country is 200 years old. Hang on, guys. Why not the NBA? Why aren't you complaining about that? What, what why, is that? why aren't you complaining about women's underrepresentation in sewer cleaners? You want things to be equal. Where's your affirmative action for that? Okay, so feminism helps that by trying to combat gender roles. So if gender roles are responsible for men feeling like they have to do certain jobs Someone because they to need that. to be manly, then well, I would you, be you in think favor. They, you think they base their manliness on whether they clean sewers? Then I would be in favor of uh, making it so that men don't feel compelled to do some of these things by society if they don't want to. There's no, there's no eat per <laughs> choices will always be different. I'm not saying everyone has to make the same choices, but the evidence is that 
peop, that certain groups get discriminated against when you do resume studies. And you when see, you have affirmative action. What? Affirmative action. When you do resume studies and you see that women's resumes are rejected way more often, you think, what do we do about that? I, I don't know. The NBA. I, I would have to see the resumes and see why they're being rejected. No, it's the same resume for a man and a woman. It's a blind study. You put a man's name on an identical resume okay. to a woman, they get rejected. Yeah, um, there may be a, a multitude of reasons for that. But you know what I don't think will solve it is gender discrimination. Do you think we, we need to solve that problem? If that is what is allowing 95% of CEOs to be male, is that, if that's what's yeah, allowing... You're assuming this. You're not proving this. I don't know that that's the case. We have the science and the studies that tell us this no, discrimination not happens. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And they're not reproducible. Uh, I'm, right. Even if, let's assume, let's just grant you everything that you're saying, and this has been scientifically proven, the adequate response, the, the way to fix this is not to discriminate on the basis of gender. How would you fix it? I don't know. How would you fix it? Give me a solution. I don't know, but I know how There are a lot of people who are being discriminated against in the workplace. I want to know if you have a solution for that. I didn't say I have a solution. What I'm saying is I'm a response to a system of oppression that you're trying to impose on people. A system of oppression. We already yes. know. Oh, yes. let's do a hypothetical. Just, just, just Why can't to pinpoint. Why can we just get down to the principles? Because then that's all what I'm doing. Not, let's no, do a no, hypothetical but, to pinpoint the principles. I'm, I'm literally saying to you, if discrimination agree, based on these unchangeable characteristics is wrong, and you said no, so I'm in favor of it. I agree with you, and that discrimination is happening in hiring. Okay, so maybe we shouldn't increase the amount of discrimination happening. <laughs> okay, hypothetical. Do you disagree? So you, you don't think there's any discrimination in hiring the workplace? That I no never bias? Said that. So, okay. Do you I, think I there is I literally some? just said your solutions are intolerable. Can, can we do to the a liberal because your solutions you just are anti-freedom? Yeah, but over you're not listening. Over. You're not understanding. You're not engaging. Because with Because you haven't you're gotten to the end of what I'm trying to ask you. Yeah, but you okay, so if on. there's inequality in the workplace, and we know that discrimination happens when we do double-blind studies of resumes and uh, between gender and b between race. We know that's happening, so that's already unequal. Well, let's just assume it, yeah. Are you saying there's no solution to that and trying to offset it by when there's a tie going with someone who's being discriminated against by their race, trying to offset it that way, you think that's oppression? I don't think racial discrimination is the answer to racial discrimination. What is the answer? I don't know. So the answer is the status quo, because you're a status quo no, no, warrior. The, the, so the, the status answer, quo that favors the is white for, men, the that's what you want. The answer is greater minds than mine, right? But the problem is that these people can't speak out, because social justice warriors act like a mafia in society. They go around terrorizing people, so they're yes, afraid to speak out. And when they do, you get James Damore. He becomes famous just because he wrote something that's utterly incontroversial. It's not controversial at all. All he's saying is men and women have different interests. Oh, shock horror. Is everyone, is everyone okay for I hearing agree. that? I agree, men and women it, Did that. anyone know this? This is new. Men and women are not exactly the same. I this, agree. Are you ready for this? I agree. Men and women tend to have different interests. That's not why he got right. fired. Now, that explains most of the inequality in society. <laughs> All right, status quo worry. Let's move on. Why the status quo yourself... is diversity quotas. Why do you think of I'm yourself... I am a radical, Thomas. I want to get rid of all of these. I want to get rid of hate speech in my country. I want quotas to get... are illegal. There's no such thing as diversity quotas. Those are illegal. Maybe in this country. They're illegal. Right? The, okay, we are in this country. Affirmative action, any kind of quotas, hate speech laws, and I want to get rid of the gangs of people on social media who terrorize others for having the wrong thoughts. Let's move on. I you call a yourself a liberal. Radical. The idea that you think I'm in favor of the status quo just goes to show how much power and privilege you have. What? That doesn't even make you sense. You are the one. Even your own it. audience didn't get that. Why look at is the, it? Look at the stress. You have no solution. I have there's to discrimination. Go to get or, I just let you ramble for five minutes. There's no. There's. You have no solution for discrimination. We offer a solution, which is in the case of a tie, go with the, the other. The solution to group. discrimination has to be done individually. Each person has to take it upon themselves not to racially discriminate. You are someone who racially discriminates. Therefore, you are not part of the solution. You are part of the problem. What is the solution to getting? The, the solution is to make discrimination illegal, which it is, and then to enforce those laws where, as and when we see them being broken. You can't enforce a law. It's, it's done unconsciously. You can't enforce and a law. You can't enforce a law. You can't like enforce that. a law. 
I, I, think I know you you're used to having a video where you stop it mid sentence and take people yeah, out of context. You're saying silly shit. But how about us. you let me finish my thought? Yeah, but you just said you can't enforce the law. I can't. All you, you go do on. is straw man. You, no, you stop me mid sentence. You just said you that. You stop me mid sentence and argue against something I didn't even mean yeah, but you as a way to gain points. You're starting as a you're premise that's ridiculous. You're starting with a premise that's ridiculous. Do you want, do you want you're, me to make Your argument builds on the premise of you can't enforce a law. Bollocks. I started over. We're really, really, you're going to argue with two. Word, three words or whatever that I started over because yeah, I misspoke. Oh, sorry. I you misspoke. Sorry. You didn't say you misspoke. Sorry, please. please. I did say I misspoke. Oh, you I stopped didn't me sorry, when go. I went back. Okay, sorry, go. What? Uh, you, there are laws against discrimination, but you can't stop unconscious bias. Oh. You can't stop the idea. What happens in these resume tests? And they've done the study on this. Yeah. They take two equal yeah. resumes. They'll do different groups of them. So one that has more education and one that has more work experience and vice versa. Right. When there's a man on the man's name, when mm -hmm. there's a woman's name, they're treated mm -hmm. differently. And they're able to find an excuse to constantly discriminate against women. If it's one where there's more education mm -hmm. and less work experience, and it's the women one, they say, we need more experience because you need experience in the real world mm -hmm. to do this job. If it's the opposite where there's n not as much education and a lot of work experience, they can say, that she's not educated enough. It's identical. The pattern happens. They've studied it. You can't make a law against it. So, Can you suggest a law that you could write? So you no, I, I can't suggest a law to police people's thoughts, and I would never even dream of doing exactly, so. Exactly, I agree. Uh, that's your idea. You want to police people's thoughts. No, I don't. I want to try to counteract by by the method of when there's a tie. Right. Choose the group that is be we know the racial is being discriminated. Group. Yeah, yeah, racial, no, race, discriminated. gender. Yeah. So it could be socioeconomic stuff. Yeah, the, the idea that you think that these two people have no further characteristics than race and gender is incredible. I mean, like the, you know, the person might be like, okay, this person was polite and this person wasn't polite. It's not a person. It's a resume test where they take identical resumes. Yeah, we're talking Do you about how studies people. Work? Yeah, but the, the idea, it, the, the point, you, you're, you're proposing a rule. They're doing a blind you're, study. Yeah, you, you understand what that is. You're proposing a rule that will be used in reality, right? You understand that, don't you? What? You are proposing a method of action, a rule that we will use in society at large. People have to live under. This yes. is what I'm saying. You don't seem to understand. You're demanding control of all of society. Like you think can, this is Plato's maybe Republic. I can, maybe I can solve this right now. And you want to institute it. I'm not suggesting that it should be of the law that people promote certain genders or, or races. I'm suggesting as a society to try to fix this underrepresentation that we know happens. When there's equal looking candidates, we should try to help an underrepresented group because we know that diversity is a benefit to corporations. They make more money oh, if they're oh, more diverse. Oh, oh. It we is know known, Khaleesi, yeah. What? It's known, but sorry, go on. We know that uh, if the more you, you, you have a monopolized group of people in a corporation, the worse that atmosphere is going to be for the one person of an underrepresented group. How do you know that? Because I talk to them and listen to them. Yeah, and I talk to people and listen as well. And they, I don't agree. They, I talk to people who don't agree with that. The, you know, remember we were talking about bubbles. Everyone's in a bubble. Do you think this is maybe a consequence of your bubble? The people you're talking to are just people who agree with you on this. And the people I'm talking to are people who don't agree with you. You have a group of chattering sycophants who's cheering oh, come on, terrible preacher, arguments. You and you're telling me I'm the one. I'm here to be abused. I disagree yeah. with them a lot, but I listen. See? No, the, I'm actually not in the echo chamber. You, you think I am? You're the one in oh, the I echo chamber. I think you are in the echo chamber. Yeah, I had I, James Moore on my show. You don't, I, I mean. I, yeah, I would love we to. We talked get, about it. I would love to get to talk to James Moore. I'm sure he's a very interesting guy. But I'm, I'm making a case that I'm not in an echo chamber as much as you are. I'm in an echo chamber. Oh, We're all in echo chambers. You're in a maybe, bigger one. Maybe, but you're uh, in one where it's my, okay my to yell, chamber. I would not even rape you, yeah. to tweet, I would not even rape you to a woman. Blah, blah, That's an blah, echo blah, chamber. Blah, blah. Blah, blah, you know, why, why no, would I you care? care? I don't why care, care you? about your moral Yeah, why would you no, care? Why would I? Why, yeah, why it's would you? It's a tweet. You? It's a tweet. Listen to you. Why would you? Would you, you say, to I mean, you know what? Would you say that to a person? Sure. I wouldn't even rape you. Would you? <laughs> and... <laughs> I did walk into that. Yes, you did. <laughs> I'll give you that when I walked into that and one. You would are you welcome. say that to my wife? My... Sure, if she asked, if she asked if me. If my wife one. were a victim of sexual assault and she did, started a movement to try to combat bullying online, would you it, tell is, her that? Is your wife an MP? Do you want to know what would happen to you if it, you told it, her that? Is your wife an MP who's trying to gain control of the internet? No, but she might be well, for no, this why movement. Would I, why would I have any say? You're the one who's hung up on this, not me. I don't care. I just, I just don't care about this issue. You keep coming back to it. it yeah. This is your hang up. I yeah, because care. I'm pointing out that it's your bubble. You don't care mm. because it's your bubble. I'm in the bubble of people <laughs> okay. who care about not being horrible. Okay, so that's my you, problem. But your, your bubble of people made one of the organizers' wives cry. 
I mean, that's not very feminist, is it, to make women cry? What did, what, what did they do that, because I, I don't they support that. They harassed her online. Of course you don't support that, but that's what the movement you're part of is doing. That, they, there no, are no, stupid no, people on each yeah, side no, of the no, internet. No, 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 there are people yes, on, there, are, there right? are plenty of people yeah, crying I, on this side. There are people crying on that doing, side. Right? We're talking about you. No, this, this, no, the problem isn't actually me. The problem is you, though. The problem is your movement. It makes, it does these things. This is what the problem with collectivism is. You don't care about the individual, you care about the group, the numbers. No, I do care and about you, the individual. No, you, I you do don't. Care about you the literally are just, the, the things you describe are putting the supremacy of the group over the importance and primacy of the individual every single time. No, everything I, you, you use these numbers to see evidence of discrimination that happens in our society, okay. and I care about that. Okay, but you don't have any right to tell people how to live their lives or how to engineer society. I think we can enact policies that will help to combat. To do you, I get to talk? I think we Sorry. can enact policies that will help to combat what inherent racism does. So you want control over society, no, and you I want to racially discriminate. You, you when I say a policy, which is maybe we should have more, I don't know, blind resume um, <clears throat> review. So maybe yeah. you shouldn't. Maybe uh, this is this is not. I don't think this should be a law. But if I say it should be a good idea to review resumes without looking at the name. You think I'm trying to control people. I'm no, just saying I, that would be a good way I, I, I to try to fight discrimination. I, I, agree I, I actually agree on the blind resume thing, right? But the thing is, it's, it doesn't just end there, and it doesn't be begin there. It doesn't this end is, there. That's one small thing. Yeah, exactly, but this is the point. I mean, that, that would be a liberating thing to do. That would stop people from what being racially discriminated, at least overly. How much longer is this going to go? I think we should go to... Um, we can go to a Q&A. I had a lot of stuff, but I'm going to skip it because you don't give a shit about no, people, so who cares? Uh, you, um, I'm let's talk about ideas. Let's talk about this. Do you support Black Lives Matter? Talk no. about Black Lives Matter. No, it's a racial interest group. It's entirely collectivist. It's anti-individualistic. I mean, the idea that Black Lives Matter, like, I've seen white Black Lives Matter supporters calling black people coons and traitors to their race. Cool. You, you saw explain. someone on the internet. Great. So oh, let's oh, talk about... it doesn't matter. If it doesn't matter, then fuck your tweets. No, it, it does fuck matter. Fuck your offense tweets if it doesn't matter. No, it does matter. Oh, so now it doesn't if matter. I so had that person, it. Carl, Why is a white if person I had calling that person a black on stage, person a coon? If I had that person on stage, I would say that is a shitty thing to oh, do. Oh, that's great, but that's what your movement produces. So own it. That's Ooh. ridiculous. The idea that... Whatever. Do you think there's no need for Black Lives Matter? I'm absolutely certain that there are black communities that need help. And an interest group for these communities, if they want one, is fine. I have no objections to this. But when you sit there and go, right, white people are doing this to us, I have an objection because you can't demonstrate that white people are doing it. It's a straw man. It's, it's, society is doing it. We have the data. Oh, I'm a God. data guy. Yes, yeah, so you're, you're a, a feelings you're, person. You feel like there's no are you discrimination. Are you insane? I'm, but I'm, my, oh my God. My facts do not give a shit. That you feel like there's no discrimination. You, 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 are, you have no principles. That's my problem. You do you do want me to talk operate. about the need for Black Lives Matter? No, you do not operate from a point of principle, and you, no, oh, you I absolutely know you do. don't. Oh, what, I absolutely do. What principle? My principle is when there's Equality. discrimination in society, that? we should work to get rid of it. That's solid That's, principle. What, are you, yeah, but towards what? Like, uh, what do you want? Towards, do you, e towards equality of opportunity. Right. I agree with equality of opportunity. No, you don't. You yes, agree with, I absolutely do. You agree with I absolutely no, you agree don't. with equality. You absolutely Let me, let's don't. talk about opportunity. You are, you are for equality of outcome. You have literally said, no. I want the number of, you said the number of outcome, Latinos outcome, to represent the pattern. The, you the use outcome society. to measure what the opportunity is. It helps you as a tool <laughs> to measure. No. It helps you as a You're tool. You're absolutely wrong. You're Black men are 6.5% of the population. They are 40% of our prison population. Okay. You do not think we can use that number to say, maybe something's going wrong. I, I, do, I do think you should speak to black people and ask them why, the, why these problems are happening. They're the ones doing it. It's their communities that are produ producing the problems. You're not going to be able to legislate this problem out of existence. You think it's black people's fault that there's 40% of them in, in prison? I believe that black people are responsible the for their own actions. If black people are committing crimes at a disproportionate rate, that is their responsibility. So that's a feeling. Let's talk about the data. No, th we know that's that a black men, you idiots. We know that black men are pulled over and searched three times more than white men. We know that when those searches happen, white people have drugs or contraband 50% more than black men. And, we and also they're arrested that, more. And we, we also pulled them over due to bias. Shoot white people more than black people. What did you say? We also know that cops shoot. Not per capita. Yes, in total. Do. No, not uh, per well, capita. No, no in, they're more likely to shoot a white person. Yeah, because they're, there are way more white people. No, no. Yes, <laughs> no. per capita, no. black men are killed no. by police. The chances three to four of them times doing more. it is more likely they'll shoot a white person. But you yeah, can't because stand, there's more white people. No, it's the percent, the chance of it happening. Because there's more white people per capita. No. On an individual basis, if a white person is pulled over and a black person is pulled over, the white person has more chance of being shot. That 
is correct. There's shut up. I don't. Yeah, but it is correct. You just don't know. No. Black this men is your are killed. No, you don't address any. Black of men are killed three to four times more often than white men per capita because they're committing more crimes. No, no crime does. It doesn't explain it. The studies have been done. That's the over policing. They're pulled over mm -hmm. three to Gentlemen. four times more. They're not responsible for their own actions. Got it. They're searched three to four times more. <laughs> white people. They're searched three to four times That's more. It. White people have drugs more okay. often. Wow. You don't care. You don't care that, that about you, that. Bio. You literally didn't care about my point. Don't sit there and go, you don't care, when you're dismissing what I'm saying and it's legitimate statistics. Fewer Some than one audience. in three black men killed by police you were even care. suspected by you a crime. Don't care. Look, we're, sorry, we're I feel like I don't want to interject, but I do. <laughs> Fascinating point. And I agree with both of you. I don't know how that's possible, but I do. Aren't we good till 2.40? Uh, yeah, but we were gonna do the Q and A. Yeah, well, I'll do the Q and A. Did when we want to? Okay. Yeah. We, um, Let's finish the Black Lives Matter. I'm not really interested in Black Lives Matter. I, I'm Black, yeah, you're not interested because you know the data goes no, against listen, what you're listen, saying, and, and again, you don't give a shit. No, again, this comes down to the, the the problems may well exist, but your solutions are terrible. I object to racial injustice. No, my groups. solutions are attempting to eliminate discrimination and policing by oppressing. Black people, people are stopped more, if, although they're 15 percent of all stops. In 2015, they accounted for 42% of non-consent -cons searches. Uh, okay, okay. So, so you don't Thomas, care. real no, quick, no, we're, I, we're I, gonna I, do I, another I, five minutes, but I just wanted to give you like a, look, you know, so we'll go to like 215, 216. I, I, Black people have the lowest hit rate Can I get searches. Speech? Can sure. I get speech, right? Look, I, I have explained to you, uh, your, your solutions are terrible. You don't know my solutions on this. Oh my God. You, what Listen, is my solution to this? You're, I don't know to that, but it doesn't matter because... You just admitted you don't know. You said my solution oh, is terrible. Gotcha, I said, gotcha. what is my solution? You said, I don't know. Yeah, no, I don't That's know. That's awesome. Right? That's a great argument. Because, look, look, it goes down to the principles what a giant that you're using. You are anti-liberty. You are fine with saying, right, what we need is... Should police have the liberty Can to I pull speak? over black Can men I speak? more often than Can white I speak? Men? Right? You are in favor of controlling society top down. I'm in favor of liberty, so that's society controlled bottom up. I think people are responsible for their own actions. You need to go and speak to these people. There is no systemic solution to what the problems you are mentioning. The stats show police search them more often. They pull them over more often per capita. That's great. I'm glad you have the The hit stats, rate, the right? success rate of these searches mm -hmm. is more for white people. That's fascinating. Thank so you don't care that police are racist and they, and they unconsciously... Oh, the police are just racist now. You don't care that police unconsciously police harbor are, biases. Wow. The you do not care. Racist. I don't agree that the police are racist. The police harbor the poli biases that okay. allow racist outcomes. I, this is why you end up calling black people coons, you know, or white I men. don't do that. And oh, I would you never are do that. you are implying. I don't directly. do that, and I would never you do know, that. You know, I was literally. It's amazing how diverse but the white please, supremacy please is. Please attack somebody right? on the internet that I don't know no, no, and no, I wouldn't support. I was, I was in Berkeley, right, and I'm watching some white kid in college. There are lines of cops, right, hmm. and there's a black cop and a Mexican cop, and then a couple of white cops, and this kid literally yells "KKK supporter" at the black cop, a white kid. Explain it. Why is this happening? And it's easy to explain, right? Let me ask you this. Do you think that's action? worse or better than tweeting at an, an MP victim of rape that oh, you know? Wow. No, do you wow. think? I want to know. Which is worse? I, I think which? that's a way worse thing. You think that's way worse? Oh, yeah. I think literally anything that happens in real life is way worse than any tweet. <laughs> that is your life. <laughs> you are a public person. You knew it was you. Yeah. She's a public person. Yeah. When you sent the message, so it went to her. Right she right saw it. It's in life. Oh, Real no. life. And, and what was her reaction? She talked about how after your, a bunch of your goons went after her and she had 600 <laughs> to 1,000 rape threats. She never night. did. She had non-rape threats. <laughs> You, you're saying she had no rape threats? She, she had, Zero. She, uh, literally, go through every tweet. It was people saying, I won't rape you. They're not threats. And you can't make them threats no matter how many times you say it. Right? But do you know what her response to this was? Uh, yeah, I watched her videos about and it. And what did she say? Well, she thinks it's a good reason for her initiative no, to try to... No, she literally went on Victoria Live, a British TV program, and said, I didn't care. I was out in the garden playing with my kids. I just don't care. So that you're arguing over a tweet that caused no damage, there's no offense, and the victim of this non-threat doesn't even give a shit. You're, uh, you look like you're about to You cry. don't think she's trying like, to... Why? What? Why? Explain why you're so emotionally invested in this. What? Explain why you're so emotionally invested in a tweet that the victim, or victim you don't think, of the non-rape threat didn't care Do you think it would have been a better Explain idea it. if she was hurt by your, your disgusting it would at tweet least give to you say, my feelings were hurt, it's horrible. You think it would have been yes. better for her to say that? Yeah. Yeah, she could have gone and say, "Hey, uh, yeah, look, you you are not you are not speaking in defense of anyone. Do you understand that?" 
There is no victim. There is no victim. You're not speaking no in defense victim. of anyone. Oh, okay. No, literally, she said, I don't care. This is why Yay, this is useless. everyone. This is why the shirt. <laughs> and we're back. Wow, that is the fastest I've ever seen a line queue up. Uh, I can't wait for 700 what about white men questions. I okay. <laughs> hey, valid point. So, uh, I wonder if the organizers are happy with this being what their conference is. So let me, uh, let me harp back to what we had talked about before, uh, which was, you know, peace, unity, don't be a dick. So... Does that apply to tweeting I wouldn't even write to you on? It doesn't apply to what's said on Twitter. Anywho. Yeah, so we're going to do one question. Uh, the whole no life story thing really applies here. And... Um, <laughs> We have a very intimidating mic presence here. Uh, wow, he is wearing a tie, on. everyone, so you gotta listen to him. And take it away. Karen Garst, the faithless feminist. I believe that religion is the last cultural barrier to equality, and we need to get women out of churches, and we're not gonna do it with two white men talking about women and minorities. I, I agree. I apologize for being a white male. I'll do my best not to be next time. Or the organizers could invite somebody. Why are different. you here? You're a white man. Why didn't I you, agree. Why didn't you advocate? I shouldn't be here. I, I would advocate that the organizers invite someone else. Yeah, but why I agree. did you even turn up? You're a white man. You knew you were occupying a space. That I was invited, but I would. Uh, I, I think they <laughs> should invite more people. I agree. The organizers women. shouldn't invite him, and they should invite black women by Thomas's own admission. Yeah. Great. Well done. You've just deplatformed yourself. <laughs> Yeah, good point. Oh, we'll see if I, uh, we'll see you next time. Next All right. question. Um, so you mentioned that uh, you know that black people are pulled over more frequently and searched than white people. So do you think that police should then outwardly ignore someone committing a crime if they are black? Oh, of course. Yeah, I'm sure I think that. Yeah. No, I don't. That's absurd. I think they should not search black men more often than white men per capita, even though the drop rate, the hit rate on contraband is higher for white people. I think they should try to combat that unconscious bias, which makes them say, as we've seen in studies, which makes them think of black men as older and as more threatening. We know this is true. Okay, but uh, that's, that's really We should do our best to fight that bias. Yeah, no, How could you disagree I, I with that? I have a question for you, though. When, when, when you end up like, looking at the statistics and you're looking at going, right, okay, so like, you know, uh, half of the crime is from black men, given a disproportionate number of the population. Your only analysis of that is to say that that's racism, isn't it? No, I think it's a product of a lot. There, there may be some outright racism somewhere along the chain. I think it's a product of a lot of unconscious biases for which we have data. What it's a product of it's a product of poverty, and oh, right. po that reinforces itself. So okay. as we've arrested more men in the drug war and the the way we've Mm -hmm. discriminated in our sentencing too, the 100 to 1 sentencing, we've put more black men in prison by far astronomically more than white. Right, yeah, okay, that yeah, breaks yeah. up families, that creates poverty, okay, that creates okay, more okay, crime. Okay, that's, that's a great point because you, you say, right, we're putting more black men in prison. So yeah, but that's because they're the ones committing the crimes. The individual has to be responsible for their own agency. We can't just like start letting black people Can I go. just give you an example? What happens a lot of times, 95% of all prosecutors in this country are white men, 95%. And if you don't think that bias is affecting the outcome, prosecutorial, prosecutorial discretion is one of the biggest tools for this discrimination. Yeah, but you're saying and it's you're unconscious. Racist. So when there's a white guy gets caught with a joint, they say, college kid, screwed up. When there's a black guy gets caught with a joint, they say, this is a drug dealer. We need to put this guy away. They have the discretion to make that call and bias, unconscious bias or conscious, I don't know, but one or the other has drastically I, I don't think you know about the people you're talking about. You, the, all of these are, this, this is the problem, right? You're trying to take a systemic solution to what are individualistic problems. Mm, yeah. you, you can't solve them that way, and you never will. Next question. Sorry. Uh, hi, Sargon. Uh, welcome hey, to Milwaukee. Uh, thanks, it's been very fun. Real quickly, uh, I, I know you, you guys both brought up a point that I agree with strongly on blind recruitment for jobs, mm -hmm. which I think is actually a good thing. Yeah, and, and over in Australia, they went and they suspended their program because they said, I have the quote here, it says, we found the opposite, that de-identifying candidates reduce the likelihood that women being selected for the short list. Ooh. And what? so I just wonder that if, if that's a scenario where let's say we make things anonymous and women are less likely to get selected for a job, kind of like deconfirming affirmative action, 
do you guys both agree with that premise that in that case, they shouldn't be selected for those job opportunities? Well, you agree with that, don't you? Uh, I would say, so we have, the, I don't know that example, but we have plenty of examples of it being positive, like the, the orchestra example it made a huge positive impact, impact to audition behind a screen where they didn't know the gender. I think it can be positive. I think uh, in cases where there's other possibly systemic or choice reasons, it may result in uh, a different discrepancy in jobs, and we'd have to look at that individual yeah, example. But the people don't know the gender of the people, so it can't be like a form of discrimination. No, the, I, I, know, I agree. It could yeah. be, I said, a discre like a systemic, like uh, if they didn't go into that field for a reason, if they, it could be some other. I, is there any chance that the men are just doing more work than the women, though? I want a resume? Yeah, sure. Why? Well, do you think everyone's resume is the same? Well, but. Uh, but that's still a fact. Yeah, but I, mean, I didn't say that there's discrimination. I say, I agreed with you. I said that there's some other factor. So yeah. before that, and I, job, I think yeah. the other factor might be the men are working harder than the women. I don't have any evidence for that, but uh, th I, I would not be. I if think it, the if it turns out that we had good evidence that we've reduced the bias in the hiring and the screening, and we know from talking to people that the environment isn't like sexist or racist or anything, if we know that those factors are there and there's no inherent like systemic discrimination and then there's a gender gap, fine, I don't care. <laughs> well, I'm not going to uh, I'm not gonna take a 60-40 and say you, you you wouldn't sit there and go, yeah, but I want equality then. No. Not not in those circumstances this I just is, set up. This is why I say you don't hold any principles. No, I, I have I am that is my principle. My you you you, you think equality. my principles are something else and so when I they're not think, that straw man, you're saying, wow, you don't stick I to your principles. I only think what you say what they are. You say you literally said earlier, I want equality. No, and I didn't. I, saying, I, I said I want equality of opportunity and we use equality of outcome to help measure where that equality of opportunity right, is. Yeah, but, uh, freedom means you're going to get a different outcome. You're never going what, to get the same what outcome. What are you talking about? We can we can look at the industry, we can look at the job. Yeah, We'd you, have to break it down yeah, but, to know. <laughs> Gentlemen, so, gentlemen, let's move to the next question. Okay, hello everyone. My name is Tony B. I'm the token Mexican here tonight. Um, <laughs> uh, he looks like a white supremacist. Go ahead, man. Uh, we're part of the Existentialist YouTube video. So I just want to ask both of you to just to clarify. Um, we're talking about, I come from these neighborhoods of Latino, black, and poverty, impoverished neighborhoods. I want to know, both Thomas first, when it comes to individual responsibility, what is your stance? How far should we intervene? taken away because you care about the individual. So what type of interventions would you like to see to help alleviate our social ills? And Sargon, um, we know that studying politics, studying sociological uh, phenomenon and institutions, we call path dependency to look at history to see how we came from point A all the way to point G. How far should we go back to history if it's sometimes irrelevant? And what would you do now if we want to look past and say it doesn't matter? to alleviate the social ills that my community and my fellow black community um, members face. Thank you. Okay. Sure, I, I think that um, obviously I think there's a level of individual responsibility. I don't think that's zero. I think that what I would be happy with are policies that attempt to fix the systemic problems that we know exist. So over-policing, um, and, and those, those over-policing is a huge one. It's, it may, might be the biggest for me because that creates so much poverty. And things that you might think is, oh, oh that's just individual responsibility. It, it, to me, aren't we all atheists here pretty much? Aren't we all materialists pretty much? I mean, it's weird for me to, for a group that likely, I would think, believes in materialism. And so as such, we recognize that free will is kind of eh. Like, I, I don't know how much, like, I, I think that what goes into your circumstances is your genetics and your environment. Don't lump us all together, Tom. Yeah. Oh, so are there some people where that's not true? Are there some people that are that are here not because of their genetics and their environment? Or some other I, I, soul or I something? I think that there is something so, raise called your hand agency. If you have a soul. Tom, I think there's something called agency. Right. I'm, I, I can't remember the exact wording of the question I was asked. But the, these communities, unfortunately, we have to be honest, there is no outside solution to these communities. Because often these communities identify themselves as being deliberately separate from the surrounding community, the surrounding society. And this is how they kind of maintain themselves. Unfortunately, they're gonna have to 
they're going to have to do it themselves. And Ben Shapiro lays out the whole, like, um, you know, get married, don't drop out of school, don't have kids, pull wedlock, and you won't find yourself in poverty in the United States. So this is, studies show that that's true, and unfortunately, it's going to have to be a bit of stoicism. It's going to have to be a bit of self-reliance. You can't rely on the white man to pull people out of poverty if they don't want to be pulled out of poverty. And if they're going to take all these actions, what are you going to do? Hello. I was wondering, um, lately we've been seeing more um, issues online, you know, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, where people are usually being cut off, you know, suspended for, you know, often no reason at all. Do you think that's going to hurt the platform in the long run, or do you think other platforms are going to come along that will take those places? Thank you. Um, you know that me? better than oh, I. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. As, uh, as I haven't a, been banned from anything because I don't harass people. Yeah, so well, know. that was not the reason I was banned, unfortunately, Thomas. It was actually my thought crimes. It's all political. Sure. But, um, yeah, I, I imagine it will hurt them in the long run. And there are already competitors springing up. I mean, like, Gab has been noticing a huge increase in, effectively, lost Twitter users who have been banned from the platform because they said the wrong thing. Yeah, it, the, the market will end up killing these things and more power to it. Um, um, I'd like to start my question by saying, Sargon, I wouldn't even rape that sweet, sweet boy pussy. Thank you so much. <laughs> Um, but on a more, ser on a more serious note, um, we see a lot of times with like class politics and Marxism that they pit the rich against the poor, mm -hmm. where, I've, where, I've, where I've seen that the rich and the poor more form a symbiotic union, where the rich provide for the poor and the poor become the lifeblood of the rich. And instead, it's the middle class that are the problem. They come in, they don't provide much to society other than useless intellectuals. <laughs> And then, <laughs> then, then they become distraught with their condition because they can never move into the upper classes. Ooh, that's so then they become jealous of the people above them and they become resentful of what the people who the, are passing by them. Socialists right, just hate you. the rich, man. Is this a vi YouTube video? Just start a channel or something. That's a good idea, you should. Does it get a lecture, a political yeah. lecture? Yeah, me? I was expecting a question, yeah. but I'm okay with it. Chatelet, Brother Sargon. You've spoken up against affirmative action. Yes. But would you make an exception by... <laughs> I see where this is going, on. <laughs> by rooting for affirmative action for the oppressed Pakistani people. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm going to have to stand on principle and just ask for liberty for them instead. Hello everyone, uh, Tom, Sargon, thanks for being here. Uh, something more in light, like affirmative action, not Pakistani. It's uh, more of a guess, serious based question. What do you guys think of uh, affirmative action for college scholarships being just more of a personal economic backgrounds? Like uh, you hear socioeconomic backgrounds, but that's just based off region. Sometimes there are people that are just personally not supported by their parents or they get thrown out of their house no matter where they're from and they're working their way through college and supporting themselves, sometimes working two or three jobs. What do you think about affirmative action then? Uh, it's, it already exists. So socioeconomic status is part of affirmative action. Um, the FAFSA is another tool for that. That already exists. Sargon will tell you, you can't discriminate based on socioeconomic status. So, you know, helping people who are poor is discrimination against rich people uh, Actually, by that logic. That. But, okay. uh, but go ahead. Yeah, do you know what's really interesting? In, uh, in the UK, we have more people going to university than ever before. And we have student loans that people pay off over the course of their life. And this has absolutely worked. Now, half a million people a year, more than, are enrolled into university. It's working. You can't argue with it. And ultimately, why should someone else have to pay for your university education? I know I'm going to sound like a conservative here, but like, how is it someone else's responsibility, especially when a loan is available, for you to actually take out and then you, get, you pay it off when you earn over a certain amount, like I think it's 21,000 pounds. It's a working system. Why change it? I think the system's a little different here. Uh, uh, your, yours might well. I'm not, yeah. I'm not familiar with uh, how your admission system works. Uh, hello. I'd just like to thank you Mr. Akkad for not only coming to Milwaukee, but <laughs> also for making my mother laugh. It's oh. pretty difficult to do. I... Uh, my question for you is, because you come from a background where you work on YouTube and you deal with criticism on a daily basis, and 
What is, in your opinion, the best way to take in the criticism, discern which is legitimate and which is illegitimate, and how to apply it to yourself? You have to take on a case-by-case -case basis. You have to look at the way people are approaching you. If, if, they, if they begin by telling you that you're an awful person, this probably isn't legitimate criticism. If they, can, if they can't... If they depends, can't, are you an awful person? Kind of oh, depends, see, I, I knew you'd get prickly about that. <laughs> right? if, if it's... And the, the thing is, right, Thomas, leading up to this, you called me alt-right. You called... Yes, you did. I, have, I will show you the screenshots, Thomas. You I called, called you alt-right? Yes. Right? You, well, you literally... that was something I didn't get to. The alt-right doesn't endorse you. You say you're not alt-right, I'll take your word for it. So I, I they, apologize. they do what to me? They uh, endorse you? Members of the alt-right endorse you. And they, they absolutely say that you do lead... not, Thomas. Yes, Richard Spencer said you lead people's <laughs> direction. Um, another guy Jared in Daily Taylor Stormer thinks you do it. said... Another guy in Stormer said you lead people in your direction. But uh, if I don't think I said that, but if I did by accident, I apologize. I don't think. Okay. I don't okay. think. Well, you don't self-identify as all right. I think ultimately you lead people there, and your effects are all right. That's my opinion. Okay. But I don't. You don't self-identify as that. I didn't remember calling you that. So yeah, I but none of my political pol positions are in any way. I mean, I'm not racially pure enough to join the alt right. So. You know, I, I'm, they are a white identity. Yeah, it doesn't mean you can't be a useful they, tool for them, though. Well, you are the useful tool. This is the thing. This is why, like, I interviewed Jared Taylor, and I'm sure a lot of people know who this is. He literally said, the left is doing everything in their power to make the alt-right grow. Mm. They are the ones who are set, they're setting the dichotomy. They're, right, what we're going to talk about is race. And by the way, white what about people the personal don't get responsibility of the alt-right? Do they not have no personal responsibility to not be racist? Yeah, absolutely. I disagree with them. Oh, okay. But the problem is, you're being racist, and that's making people think, well, it's okay to be racist. Oh, I'm a white person, I'll join the white about, interest group. Oh, G so gentlemen. They, so they're forced to join this white interest they group. They feel like that, Will. Oh, yes. they feel like that. Gentlemen. Don't, they, don't they have responsibility to not be racist? Yeah, sure, but you're the ones being racist. You're G setting the table. Gentlemen, the combat portion of this conversation <laughs> is over. Oh, what did you say? The combat portion. We're going to have a fight. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Fine. Next for question. Me. Uh, Chatelet Sargon, thanks for coming to Milwaukee. Uh, my question is actually for Tom, because as much as I love you, Sargon, I mean, I don't ever. You probably already know what my answers <laughs> yeah, are, totally. yeah. But no, um, my question is do you not see how certain aspects of the social justice movement and that sort of thing do actively alienate people to the point where you're purity tested and, oh, you're not good enough because this, this, and this, and where, where you can move and get accepted in a movement like the skeptics and like the right, where all you have to do is not agree with you? Where, um, <laughs> that, that yeah. Basically, yeah. like, do you not see that with how how much you push people to form to one very specific line of ideology. I do? Well, the, the movement that it. you're part of, um, yeah, yeah uh, what do you think about that? But the people yelling at me that are his fans, they're not pushing me to, to agree with him, you don't think? The people yelling at me this entire time? They don't, they're not pushy at all? No, okay, so anyway, uh, no, I do recognize that, and that's something we didn't get to. I think, I think there, are plenty of, there are plenty of people on both sides of every issue that I think are awful. Um, I think there's plenty of... Oh, SJ double. Nice. What's that? I love how you pointed at me when you said the word. Oh, no, I didn't, but sure, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I think there are plenty of SJWs. I think we do, I think liberals infight too much, and I think that's, that is oh, you're true. You're not liberals. Yeah. You're not liberals. I think that is true, and I think that is a reason that Republicans have an advantage, because they, they, they the people at Charlottesville and the, the moderates, they're all voting, they're all voting, and the, Lib the Democrats, well, despite the fact that we won by three million votes, they're not voting enough in the... Biggest in and the, 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 they're not winning enough in the swing states. But uh, yeah, no, there's, there's crap behavior. I agree. Um, I think, uh, I'll agree with Sargon that I think people have a personal responsibility to rather than overreact and go to the alt-right, which he seems to suggest is a logical thing like white nationalism, uh, I think they should have the personal responsibility to, to, to I don't know, uh, Rise up and be strong in the face of some people yelling at you on the internet, which I think you would yeah, agree with. I, I think what you mean is they have a personal responsibility to stand on their principles. Yeah, and to argue against that part of the left from the left, which is what I try to do. Yeah. I, I, I've argued with far lefties on my show all the time. That, that's, that, that's great, but the thing is, the problem is the principles are of racial discrimination. And the question yeah, is just which direction is it heading in? And I disagree with this dichotomy entirely. This is why you and the alt right are not, for you're each not other. on the left, so I don't care. Like well, in my a definition, you're oh, not, you, you so. have now tack feared me from the left. I'm no longer a real Muslim. If you I'm think, sorry. if you think that I'm a white people are more discriminated against, you're, I'm sorry, you're not. You're not. I That's don't look the litmus test, is it? 
That's the litmus test. The liberal stance is that systemic discrimination is a big part. That's one big part of it. That's not the liberal stance. That's the Marxist stance. You are, you are systematic people. That's Marxism in action. Next question. <laughs> uh, my question's for Thomas as well. Um, first off, on your website, the James Damar uh, interview you're talking about, you link to what you quote as being the best scientific rebuttal of James Damore, and the first article they cite says he's a racist and a fascist. Um, <laughs> and I, that that um, that it has a lengthy scientific explanation. So that's I mean that's misleading <laughs> to say that's what it is. There's well, I, there's several no, I'm not scientists. Saying that's all it says, but it goes into detail on why he's a fascist and a racist. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Uh, my, but my question I just is, want to make clear to everybody that that's not the source that I like. It's it's a scientific. It has four or five di or right, multiple scientists first, in the field. The they have a breakdown. Science. I don't link things that just say he's a fascist and say it's the best scientific source. I just want to make that's that right. clear to people. Uh, I just, in the atheism community, we have a pretty long tradition going back to Voltaire, uh, Hustler magazine criticizing Jerry Falwell, uh, recently the Bible for gays. We have a pretty strong tradition of being vulgar and offensive to Christianity, I just wonder why social justice shouldn't get the same treatment if we disagree with that. Uh, because not all things are equal. We can look at what the context is. So if someone says, despite the straw man that, that Sargon paints of the, the SJW left and me personally, if someone <laughs> Everyone says- Everyone knows exactly what you're like. I don't have to describe it. If someone says, I am a, I'm an atheist and a Christian says, that's offensive to me, they're full of shit. If someone uh, is, a, is a victim of sexual abuse and they say someone tweeting, you know, say, I, I wouldn't even rape you, <laughs> if they say that, if they say, wow, that's a really shitty thing to say to, to a victim of sexual assault and I don't think you should do that, um, you know, you can look at that and decide whether you think they're right to, to be offended by that. You are literally, though, the new moral censors. You've taken the place of the church. What, and now censors? you're trying to. What, what am I censoring? What did I censor? Did you miss the harassment campaign to get me skeptic and shoe deplatformed? I didn't do that. I'm here. You're They're part trying of to get you deplatformed. Deplatform is not censorship. Yes, it is. There are a billion people. Yes, it is. It's there are a billion people we censorship. could invite to it talk. There are people who have your same views who and don't they harass invited people. And yes, I would debate different. Melissa Chen all I'm fucking sure day. Would. And I would, we would talk got, about identity politics. We would to talk about the Enlightenment. I would be yeah. happy to do that because she doesn't say shitty things to vulnerable people. Well, why online. did you agree to I'd this? I'd be thing? happy to do that. If you're so That's bothered about it, you should have disagreed. No, it's not. You are actively censoring people. You are censoring next anybody. question. I don't have the truth. Thank you, you guys. You, in uh, the first... same night, by the way, that he said he lobbied for and started a group to remove certain classes from colleges, he's saying I'm the censorious one. I didn't do that. Unbelievable. That's a lie. Thank That's you guys. a straw man. You, you accuse me of everything you're guilty of. That's so weird. Like, li literally, the When did I start a petition to oh, remove classes? Hold on, Carl. Go ahead. I am not, that's, you're still lying. I didn't do that. Oh, okay. suspend class. Oh, okay, oh, good. Congratulations. Oh, to, to, to suspend have, classes. Really, okay, look, Great. Jordan Peterson... Your, 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 your entire argument listen. is relying on the difference between suspend and ban. Okay, yes, because you, you win. think there's no difference. Gentlemen, gentlemen, I declare maybe you're the, the next winner. question will be no on difference. this exact yes. same topic. <laughs> and then it'll just roll over. I didn't hear that. No, I didn't hear that. Thank, thank you guys. What, what you uh, first of all, if you, sorry, first of all, if you don't want student debt, just get a STEM degree. That's what I did. I couldn't hear. I what? can't hear what? you. Sorry. Get a STEM degree. That, that, that's all you need to do. Oh, yeah, good, cool. Uh, second, I am actually a Catholic. I believe in God and everything, and I have to deal with cognitive dissonance when I talk about, say, religion or stuff. Uh, so I don't get in those conversations with people. How do both you guys deal with cognitive dissonance in your in your own way, where you kind of say, I have to segregate this topic from talking to this people because I just I have this cognitive dissonance. I don't way. have any cognitive dissonance because my beliefs are consistent. Okay. <laughs> what about you, Thomas? <laughs> you don't have any cognitive dissonance because your medium is to take the, the stupidest people you can find, stop their videos when it's convenient to you, and yell about them. So that's easy. Yeah. I easy. also tweeted I wouldn't rape Jess Phillips. You better bring that yeah, up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you have a. It's it's very easy to not have cognitive dissonance when you're not challenged. When you have a group. Oh of fellow misogynists who think it's why, okay to Why do didn't that. you challenge me? No, I actually, I, I do congratulate you for at least doing this debate. I mean, it was oh, a home crowd, but I do, I do congratulate it, you for... Not, not if the internet was anything to go by. If anything, I'm the interloper here. I've but, invaded a safe space, a holy of holies. I'm like Pompey going into Jerusalem. Sure, yeah. And you're like a Pharisee who's upset about it. Go on. Uh, sorry, next question. All right. Um, we have this issue going on in the UW system right now where we have falling enrollment. 
uh, enrollment at the institution I work at is down. And we had this retention meeting on Friday where we tried to identify the population that was most at risk of, re of retention, um, of dropping out. And it white happens men. to be white men from Minnesota. Ooh, cool. <laughs> My question is, and I think I understand where Sargon's coming from on this, but my question is, what is the affirmative action solution to this? Why would there be an affirmative action solution to it? I think there's, if, if you've identified a systemic problem or if you've identified a reason, that would be the next step. Find out why. If you have a policy idea for that, like maybe you need a program to try to engage these white men to be able to keep them, I don't know, maybe disciplinary, whatever the cause is, uh, I would say, okay, cool. You don't Remember. think there should be affirmative action for white men who are dropping out? Well, if they're, if they're dropping out more, I would try to target the reason why they're dropping out. Um, if they're being admitted, like, like if there's discrimination in admission, I would absolutely be against okay. that. And if they say to you it's discrimination and propaganda against oh, it's white not, people? Oh, it's, it's absolutely not that. We could, well, you we'd have, have to look at what the you reason is. No, no, you literally, you've just... No, we'd have to look... Well, I've yeah, looked if, at this if, issue. If each individual one says, look, I was reading this bulletin, they were like, don't turn up if you're a white man, which literally happened in a British university, white men are banned from a certain meeting, if they're saying, look, it's this kind of racial and sexual discrimination that I'm against and I want to leave, what's your solution? Title IX. Um, I, I would want to look at what the reason is. I, I would be but highly skeptical that that would be the reason. Um, I think the reason, because I've looked at this issue a little bit, it has a lot to do with uh, disciplinary reasons. It has to do with your favorite thing, personal choice. Aren't they just choosing sure. to leave? I thought it was okay if people choose oh, to well, leave. Well, that's then. okay then, because black people are choosing not to go to university. No, they're not choosing not to oh, go to are. universities. They don't have the resources at the schools because oh. we fucked them over. Okay, so now white people are feeling attacked and propagandized by the institution. Because white people and black people are not equal in so the society. So it's okay to do it to they're one, but not to the other. This is why I'm saying you have no principles. It is not the same. Gentlemen, we're going down the same for a white rabbit hole. And a black now you're a racial subject. Of racism. Right. Next question, please. Well, yeah. sorry, my question. Two forty. See you guys. Okay. Oh. All right, all right. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Hi, Carl. Um, I actually don't have anywhere better to be, so. <laughs> Can someone, uh, can I get another bottle of water? Yeah. Drink your beer. Uh, I know, I was drink I've got a really bad hangover. Um, <laughs> so I don't, I don't want a beer right now, thanks. <laughs> yeah, so, exactly, right. It was good beer, too. It's actually this, good timing, because we have time for question. one more question. Oh, right. And uh, a two to three minute answer, I guess. And uh, let's do that. I do do long videos. I could go on for a while. <laughs> Hi, Carl. Hey. Um, I guess I was going to ask my question to Tom, but he's not here, so... <laughs> I'll try and fill in. Is it a right for us to, um, I guess, judge other countries and cultures with our, uh, I guess, our culture? With our moral our standards? I agree. I mean, who, who else's moral standards are you going to judge them by? That's why I was... Yeah, I think so. Well, I, I'm not a, I don't think that we should sit there and go, well, it's just their culture that they, oh, I don't know, stone atheists, chuck gays off roofs, chop women's private parts up. You know, I'm, I'm all for judging of the cultures by our standards, because our standards are, frankly, better than theirs. There's still three minutes left. Dimitri, there's still three minutes left in the time. Yes. What's up, Sargon? Pleasure hey. to finally meet you in person. I was hoping to throw a bone to Thomas, but... Anyway, um, so my question to you is... Th this is something I actually brought up with you a few months back. Oh, um, does okay so here's the issue i see here at this debate tonight you both are speaking past one another yes. the issue the issue is that from my perspective thomas was arguing a specific definition you're arguing you're arguing a different definition mm -hmm. so m this problem i think is because the maga movement or the iconoclast movement or the skeptic movement or whatever you want to call you guys yourselves you have no manifesto you're an amoeba with no framework mm. now i've brought this up with other skeptics However, this is my question i pose it to you again does the rebel or the iconic, whatever you want to call yourselves, need a MAGA movement? Because I've looked at you guys for 10 months now, I cannot for the life of me figure out what the hell you guys want in terms of demonstrable political objectives. Okay, well, no, that's a, that's a good question. But I, that, that's a good question. I mean, maybe someone should write a manifesto, but I don't ever want to be the kind of person who does write a manifesto. Um, but honestly, you can, you can just read Locke and Mill and then you'll see exactly what I'm after. I just want people to stop being arbitrarily restrained in any way, shape, or form. I don't care how white they are. I don't care how male they are. I don't care how straight they are or not. You know, these are not categories by which someone's liberties should be infringed. And is it really that hard to, like, apply that? Like, and hate speech laws. Okay, someone said something nasty on Twitter. Okay. 
You know, in Britain, hundreds of people a year go to jail over this. I'm telling you, never accept a hate speech law. It is the thin end of the wedge, and you'll never get rid of them. Don't do it, I promise. Last question, 244. Perfect. Thank you, everyone. Well, that was rousing. Yeah. Uh, I really hate hate speech laws. I'm sorry. Uh, Yo, so Dimitri, Dimitri the, I, I was going to give him one more minute, or one more question. Um, all right. Okay. Um, first of all, welcome to Cream City, Sargon. It's a pleasure to have you. Um, I was going to ask, uh, earlier he, uh, Thomas was talking about how intersectionalism uh, gets further towards the individual by identifying these different identities. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking that re really that's only true, it's really a reductionist and that it's only true insofar as when you're coming from a place where you already only have oppressors and oppressed and simply yeah. classifying yeah. the oppressors and oppressed. Um, and he tried to claim that this isn't a Marxist idea. Do you think that when you talk to people particularly farther to the left than, say, like blue dog Democrats, but like people mm -hmm. that are particularly socialist, do you think that they consciously try and gaslight people on our side, or do you think it's just a, like like poisoning the well from their like? I wouldn't. Things? I wouldn't want to presume like any individual's motives if I can't even identify the individual. Um, but they, I mean, it, it is certainly a Marxist philosophy, and they do dichotomize the world by oppressor and oppressed. And if you are in the majority group, you must necessarily be an oppressor. But the thing is, the alternative is to have even even in their own philosophy. Right? The alternative is to have the minority group oppressing the majority group. That's what they want. This is usually termed an aristocracy. We have to resist this. We, we can't possibly accept this kind of framework. And I don't agree anyway that white people are just oppressing black people by their mere existence. It's ridiculous. Thank you to both of our speakers. I'm sure the Twitters are a buzz. <laughs> or whatever. Uh, so we're going to take a 10 minute break and then move to a less controversial topic, which is Scientology. <laughs> um, so we'll see you back here. Oh. Uh, thank you. Uh, no, I'm okay. Hey, man. Oh. In the Navy. Oh. In the Navy. Thank you. Oh, hey.